Hey guys, it's Troy Francis. Welcome to another video. I'm attempting to film this in what is turned out to be quite a noisy cafe, so I don't know what the audio is going to be like, but hopefully you're going to be able to hear this okay and you're going to be able to get some value from what I have to say. And what I have to say is extremely important because, look, the reality is your competition in the dating marketplace is weak. Why? Because men in 2024 are a disgrace, okay? And what that means is that, in fact, you don't actually have to work that hard in order to achieve massive standout in the dating marketplace and just generally in life as well, okay? Because most men, when you look around you, you know, you, it, particularly if you live in the West, particularly if you live in the Anglosphere, you know, you live in a big city, maybe you're in somewhere like London where I am now or New York City, uh, Miami less so because it tends to, well, in the upscale areas, it tends to attract more ballers, but you know, you, you go to one of these larger metropolitan places for the most part, and the dudes there are, you know, they're spaghetti armed, they're kind of weak looking, they're into this hipster kind of thing, there's no, there's no standout, there's no edge, um, very soft deprecating, just very kind of like, there's, 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 no, there's no masculine sort of core there, there's nothing there that's really like, you know, going to be setting anybody's world on fire, okay? And um, a lot of men these days seem to almost glory in that. Okay, they seem to almost take a, take pride in that, as if okay, this is how I should be, you know, I should be because we've been encouraged, and certainly people of even younger generations than me have been encouraged to be very much in touch with their feminine side and to be vulnerable and to, to be emotional and and all of those different things. And what that means is that you've got this generation of dudes who are not really acting like men, and that's before you even take into account things like physical exercise you know we are aware that in the United States for example and, and also in the UK there's an obesity epidemic most people are overweight most people are not getting the kind of exercise that, that they should be getting they're not looking after their diet uh, properly they're not eating well they're not you know they're not doing anything really to to help themselves in that department okay so and also as well um, most guys even even the sort of so-called hipster guys aren't particularly stylish you know they're not, not even cleaning up on that front either so they're kind of fucking up in every possible dimension right because they look like crap um, they've got crappy unmasculine attitudes they're sort of pussified they're pussy whipped by the culture and by their own minds really their own self-belief or lack of and um, you know they're not presenting themselves in an attractive way so on every possible measure they are failing now Again, you don't need to be some sort of 2D alpha archetype or stereotype rather off the internet, right? This isn't about having a shaved head and going to the gym and lifting and doing all this bullshit, right? Necessarily, you can do what you want to do. Um, you can present masculinity in the way that you want to present it, okay? So I tend to go for a more, you know, like kind of English gentleman, kind of old money sort of vibe, I suppose. You know, that, that's very different to a lot of my peers who work in this space, um, <clears throat> you know, on the American side of things, for example. Um, and that's fine, you know, you, you don't have to be a cookie cutter version of what alpha means. You can be somewhat different. Um, you can push against the boundaries. But, but fundamentally, you know, what is core to masculinity? Well, it's that fire in your eyes. It's that passion. It's a, ultimately, it's, it's a hormonal. It's testosterone, right? Do you have that, that, that sense of life, that sense of vitality, that sense of going out to dominate and to achieve and to, to conquer? Do you have that running through your veins? Do you have that in your, in your blood? Do you have that in, your, you know, in every sinew of your body? And most of these dudes, to be honest, they don't look like they got an ounce of it let alone, you know, inhabiting their entire edifice. So it's not actually that hard. If you get the mindset stuff right, if you get your training right, if you get your, you know, look at your hormones, decide if you need to do anything with that, but certainly eating healthily, getting enough sleep, okay, getting enough exercise, all of these different things. Um, getting maybe a fashion makeover, looking at what you're wearing, look at how you're presenting yourself. Very quickly, you're gonna put yourself into the top, you know, 80%, okay? Because most people, most of these dudes out there in 2024, as I say, they look like crap, their attitude sucks, they're boring as fuck, they don't dress well, and it, it, quite frankly, there's no surprise that they're not getting any action on the dating scene, okay? I mean, I recently was reading an article in the Sunday Times about a guy, young guy, about 30, 
and he was saying how hard it is to get a date. And yes, you know, we talk all the time on these podcasts about how tricky it is, you know, to get a date because of women's expectations being very high and all the rest of it. And that's and that's absolutely true. But you know, you've got to think, well, what am I bringing to the party? You've got to look at yourself in the mirror and honestly say, you know, would I sleep with myself? And if the answer to that question is no, then clearly there's work to be done. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give me a like on the way out, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye-bye.